Hello my friend, Robert Boy here. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to add a location marker with text to a specific point in your drone shot. Notice how the drone is moving, but the graphics remain attached to the ships. I use this technique to create this shot, but for the sake of time, we will be working on a simpler version. All you're gonna need is After Effects and a third-party plugin called Motion, which is optional. This technique will work better on some shots better than others. It's best to use a shot where the drone is tracking in any direction. Definitely avoid doing pans or zooms. This is going to give you some weird results. If your shot is in 4K, but you want to work in 1080, make sure you pre-compose it, moving all of its attributes inside of the pre-comp. I would recommend exporting this pre-comp in ProRes or a Cineform format. This will give you much faster performance. Okay, now let's add the 3D camera tracker. Basically how it works is it calculates the movement of your drone in the shot and applies that same movement to a camera inside of After Effects. That's super cool, but the tricky thing is positioning a graphic or text to a specific point in your drone shot and that's what I want to show you. The 3D camera tracker will do its thing and you end up with a bunch of trackers like these. Make sure you select the effect to see the trackers. If you have a hard time seeing the trackers, you can increase the track point size. When you notice any trackers that are attached to a feature with movement, like water, walking people or birds, you want to get rid of these. Select those trackers and hit delete. Great, now we have a nice clean camera sole. But before we add in the location markers, let's set the ground plane and the origin. This will make it much easier to work with our scene. If we don't do this, objects that we make to 3D layers will be hard to find in 3D space. We have to find three points that are roughly aligned horizontally in real life. This will give us the ground plane. Now let's add a location marker for the first ship. I'm finding a track that sits in the middle of the ship. This is roughly where I want the location marker to be, so I'll use its position. Now I'll right click that tracker and I'll choose create null and camera. Fantastic, now we have our 3D camera that has the same movement as the drone and an null object that has the position value of the center of the ship. Let's add in our location marker graphic and let's make it a 3D layer. Let's get the position value of the null object and copy it over to the marker. You might need to rotate, scale and position your graphic. Great, the graphic is in the right spot, exactly where we want it. I'll add another two markers to show you the process. Let's find the tracker in the center of the ship, create a null, copy its position, and paste it onto our graphic. Then we will position our graphic. So find the tracker, create null, copy position, paste center graphic, and position graphic. Now you can add the text or other cool stuff. If you want to add text, make the text a 3D layer, then copy the position, scale, and rotation value of the marker you want to add to, then position the text above the marker. To add the line connecting the text and marker, you can use a plugin called Motion. It has a function called Rope. Just select the two layers you want to join and press Rope. For some reason, the plugin adds the line at the bottom of the layer stack, so you're gonna have to move it up to see it. If you want to adjust where the line connects, you can adjust the anchor point. So that's it. Be creative and have fun, my friend, because that's what it's all about. Till next time, my friend.